Welcome to our TEDx talk on rising to the challenge. And the challenge we're rising to is to build the world's first 5G concert. What could possibly have gone wrong? And we will expose a lot of the background stories which happened on the day and the days before. And to this end, I have with me here, Noah, my older daughter. And my older father, Misha. Well, and today the challenges we thought of talking about are three challenges. The first challenge is really a technology challenge, 5G. We were the first ones at King's College to build a fully functioning 5G system in the UK. And building a 5G system is a bit like building a, you know, a rocket for Mars. It's so complex and complicated. Uh, technology, there's hardware, software, there are people, teams to manage. So loads of challenges. We really have encountered to make it happen and it took us nine months to do it yes nine months it was a bit like giving birth to a system and birth we gave and it was called you know the UK's first 5G system so I remember my dad came home every day exhausted and you know I loved the concept of 5G and the thought that I could feel like my dad was with me because he travels a lot and, you know, I miss him a lot. So I loved that idea. Great. So, you know, we, we, we build that technology specifically for Noah to, <laughs> to, to be with me. And on we went. You know, the, the other challenge we really encountered is that uh, challenge around the narrative. And we as engineers forget about this very, very often. And, you know, you, you need to have a narrative uh, because we are very good in, you know, building boxes and, uh, you know, writing software and, uh, you know, having lines of codes. But the majority of the people, the society out there do not understand what is this for? So we really sat down and I hired uh, Ali Hosseini as they'll become a really good friend of mine to build a narrative around this. And uh, I call this now giving technology a soul. And we were really brainstorming. And Ali was telling me, Misha, you know, if you really want to bring this 5G tech with the big advantage of having a high data rate and very low latency to life, you need to do something substantial, something emotional. And he said, you need to fly to Berlin and perform piano there and then have, you know, your daughter uh, sing in London. I was like, yeah, no, Dali, I don't want to do that. You know, I want to be, um, you know, with my team when we launched the 5G system in the UK. I said, no, Misha, uh, you need to fly to Berlin and make it happen. So I went home. Yeah. And that's the one day I remember very fondly because he um, told me to write a whole song in three days, three days before, okay? I was just like, no, that's not going to happen. So at the end, we decided to sing Maria Mena, um, I Was Made For Loving You. Yeah, beautiful song you will hear later. So the, 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 we got the piece and then the actual day came. So the challenge, the third challenge was all around performance. So we had then, you know, the, 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 the big issue was really for me to be in Berlin and have Noah in London. And I was under the Brandenburger tour, so a very historic place really. And uh, I had a piano, beautiful piano there. And Noah was in the Guildhall, which is uh, UK's oldest entertainment venue. So the Romans brought that venue, uh, you know, 2000 years back. And we thought, let's marry a very historic place with, uh, you know, very, very modern technology. So I was in Berlin and uh, true, truthfully, I was very nervous, very nervous because, you know, our 5G tech wasn't really stable. The audio codex, uh, you know, sometimes wouldn't work. Connectivity wasn't always very reliable. You know, we haven't, we haven't even been able to rehearse and really make this piece, uh, uh, you know, play from, from the beginning to the very end. And, uh, you know, I, I, I then remember trying to connect to London and, 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 and there was Noah. And maybe Noah, you can explain all oh, what happened to you on that yeah. day, on the performance day. Yeah, it was a very chaotic day. Um, my mom and me, we went to London and we were at least 30 minutes going round through London trying to find the venue. And then on top of that, the technology wasn't working. So everyone was very stressed. I had no food because my sister ate it all. She was extremely hungry. I saw <laughs> and um you know we had no time to rehearse it was quite tense and when the moment came um 
I was extremely nervous, probably one of the most nerve-wracking moments. Uh, and I told myself I was going to get through this, and I did, and it was very like fun too. Yeah, so, you know, I was, I was so proud of Noah, really, because I, you know, it's, it's a, how old were you, 11, maybe? 10. 10, 10 years old, right? You've been told by your daddy to really go on stage in front of all these VIPs in London and in Berlin, using a technology which you know was uh, very new uh, had quite a few quirks from time to time we wouldn't know whether it would actually last for the whole performance she was on the spotlight you know everybody watching her and she kept the nerves and i was I, it was so emotional for me because i was in berlin 1000 kilometers from her and yet it felt as if she was with me and this is where i really have seen firsthand that power of 5g technology very low latency gives you that feeling of immediacy gave me that feeling of being with noah with uh, you know my daughter even though we were so far apart and i tried you know very hard not to cry that night and if you look at the video you know my head is down because tears were coming out and uh, I suddenly forgot of all these VIPs around me of the gravity of us pioneering this 5G technology with this amazing concert and uh, it was a truly truly emotional night um, and then it has set off now anything else loads of people have tried ever since to use that technology famous musicians have now been using this technology to actually perform remotely jam remotely teach remotely and the very, very beginning, this world's first was actually with Noah and myself. Okay, thanks a lot for Thank listening you. and uh, listening to the, into the video and uh, enjoy, enjoy the music and the rest of the day. Bye. Bye-bye.